Hi, I'm Myron. Today I'm going to introduce you to the controller of InMotion Challenger. The controller serves as both the heart and brain of an electric unicycle. In our case, it tracks the real-time status of the wheel through sensors, controls battery current, gets the motor working, monitors performance, and performs protective actions when risks are seen in advance. Without further ado, let's have a look at the internal structure and design of the controller, which we have named Raptor. Let's get started. Raptor controller is our first modular concept design, aiming to offer a big safety margin, compact and clean wiring management, IPX5 waterproofing, independent packaging, and easy maintenance. Raptor controller mainly consists of three layers. These are the outer shell, the driver board, and the thermal conductive board. Motorcycle-grade waterproofing connectors are integrated within the PCBA and are easy to plug in and out. The assembly is well sealed without any jump wire inside or outside, so it can be easily tested and transported. 18 capacitors are adopted, which is six times that of its predecessor. This generates much less heat, especially on uneven terrain, and the system is generally safer and more reliable. It also reduces impact stress and extends the lifespan of the battery pack. To ensure the driver board always has enough safety margin under any extreme conditions, we decided to use 42 MOSFETs with a nominal withstand voltage of 200 volts. That's 58% more than Challenger's peak voltage, allowing for nearly 1,000 amps continuous current. This means the Challenger can provide tremendous acceleration and deceleration without damaging the board. All the MOSFETs are installed directly on the 7.9 inch by 3.5 inch or 200 mm by 90 mm thermal conductive board, and two independent fans are used to cool down the board, provided you weigh under 170 pounds and keep a speed of around 16 miles per hour. You can climb steep hills like the famous California Street in San Francisco all day long without causing overheating. A no cutout experience is what we're striving for, and Raptor is made for this mission. Don't forget that we'll live stream the Challenger launch event on August 11th on YouTube, Facebook, and other platforms. Expect to see the accurate look at the upcoming Challenger, and it would be beyond the realm of imagination. Please stay tuned.